Ernest Family Show, there's no violence on this show, except at rehearsals. <laughs> and the sponsor was very, very nice to me. There are absolutely no restrictions. The sponsor said I could do anything I wanted to do, except when I'm on the air. <laughs> I do think being on television uh, kind of gets you very close to fame. People who used to say, uh, who's he? Now say, there goes, uh, what's his name? <laughs> of course, I'm uh, always sure of three people watching the show. There's my family, the sponsors, and the Bureau of Internal Revenue. <laughs> take this opportunity to again thank Mr. Milton Burl for his appearance on my show last week. It was a lot of fun when I was finished. I uh, went to my dressing room, sort of collected myself, and thought that was it until the following week, but I was grossly mistaken. It seems the network had a public relations man that they had sent down to create a new image for me. I was perfectly content with my old image, but he had other ideas. Publicity, baby, publicity. That's what you need, and that's what we're going to give you. We're going to give you the big build-up, Joey, baby. Get the public to accept you, to adopt you. I thought if I did a good show each week, the public would accept me and adopt me. Well, sure, a good show can't hurt, can't hurt at all. But when it comes to public acceptance, it's publicity that does the trick. That's what does it. Now, what is the public image of you when they think of Joey Bonds? Nothing, not an entity. Right now, you're a blob, a blob of unmolded clay. Oh, when you think if I get fan mail, it'll start off, dear blob. <laughs> oh, yeah. you just great. We gotta move. We gotta move fast. Your name is gonna be in the columns, your picture in the papers, all the magazines. From now on, you're gonna be known as Joey Bonds, man about town, the caviar and champagne type. A lot more about the man about let's go to the bowling alley, eat a pizza pizza type. Oh, you're great. That's the type you used to be, Joey, baby. But from now on, you're gonna be a swinger, a ring a ding dinger. The first thing we gotta do is to find you a new tailor. I got a pretty good tailor. Oh, really? Who is it? Sam. Sam? Press his pants while you wait. Oh, yeah. Jealousy. Jealousy. You know, I know a guy in Beverly Hills whose tops caters to the best. I got a bootmaker in Italy, a shirt maker in London. Beautiful. The finest silk shirt you can get for $50. $50 a shirt? Joey, baby, don't worry about it. That network picks up all the tabs. Now, we got you all dressed. What about romance? Who you been going out with? A, uh, a Peggy Conley. What's a Peggy Conley? <laughs> Peggy Conley is a girl that I've been dating. I know, but who is she, Joey, baby? Nil, nothing, no name. Another blob. Certainly. A girl like that, why, well, you won't hit any columns, especially Louise Kincaid. She won't print a word about you. You're right. I mean, how would it sound? What blob was seen holding hands with what blob? Oh, you're thinking, Joey, baby, now you're thinking this Conley day means absolutely nothing publicity-wise. Dates with her, you should keep in the dark. Dates with her, I do keep in the dark. <laughs> you're going to go out with Barbara Wilson? What's a Barbara Wilson? What's a... She's the deb of the season. She came out last year. If I don't like her, can I send her back in? <laughs> Just stop fighting. Do you know what publicity can do to you? Take a look at this picture. You and Barbara Wilson dining at the Chateau Fontainebleau. It's for pay stuff. You really think so? Would I lie to you? Okay, Norman, set it up. It's already set, you. Got a date with her tonight. <laughs> sure. Tonight is out. Tonight I'm taking my family to Anthony's. Oh, you mean Antoine's on the strip? No, I mean Anthony's on Fairfax. It's a pizza palace. <laughs> Anthony's pizza palace on Fairfax? Yeah. Did I hear you right? Yes, you heard me right. I am being honored. They're naming an anchovy pizza after me, and the cheese is on the house. you got to be kidding. Would I lie to you? <laughs> Jimmy, baby, think big. Tony is going to have to unveil the pizza by himself. Your promotional campaign is in its full swing as of now. I got your measurements from wardrobe, and I had a set of tails made up especially for you for tonight. Tails? Me and tails? Barbara Wilson, Chateau Fontainebleau, tails, what else? We're going to pick you up tonight at 8.30. Ah, you're all set, baby. That's it. That's it, Joey, baby. You're all set. I'm all set to recite the Gettysburg Address. Do it, do it, do it. You're beautiful, you're beautiful. Hey, pretty much, see, baby. I just can't wait to see him. Imagine Joey in tail. <laughs> Come on, Joey, we want to see you. Oh. <gasps> so I'll be there. Put on the top hat, tying up my white tie. I'm dancing in my tails. <laughs> How do I look? Hey, hey. Oh, Joey, you look elegant. Gloria, a bridegroom. A happy bridegroom, no bride. <laughs> Turn around so we can get a good look at you. You like the full treatment? Yeah. Sure. My pleasure. 
Notice the slim, sleek lines of this ensemble. A must for every man's wardrobe. Basic black. And let us not overlook the chapeau. If there's a low ceiling, <laughs> well, and if there's a tall ceiling, who's still have? Where are you going? Nobody's going to see me in this outfit except the immediate family. You come right back down here. You look wonderful, Joe. Hi, Larry. Excuse me, I hope I'm not late. Boy, we're going to have a time of Tony's tonight. Everybody's going to be there. You know, I would... Oh, you're such a fancy. <laughs> you, you sure don't look like an anchovy pizza. So you won't be able to go with us tonight. What? You won't be there for your own dedication of your own pizza? No, I, uh, I called Tony and told him to call it off. We'll make it some other night. Joey's really living it up tonight. He's going to the Chateau Fountainbleu with Barbara Wilson. Oh, society. With Babs. <laughs> you, you know, I read about her in a newspaper the other day. Well, she was the, the guest of honor at the candlelight ball. You, I felt so sorry for her. Imagine a, a big ball like that. The lights go out and they got to use candles. <laughs> So what happens when you don't pay your electric bill? <laughs> Boy, you and Babs at the Chateau Fountain Blue. Boy, you're, you're really going places. Boy, you look wonderful. Thank you. I've never... Oh, I'm so proud. Let me just take a good look at you. Oh, they're, they're ripped. They're ripped. Don't worry about it, Joseph. Babs is so much fun. They're supposed to be like that, Mr. Jilson. They're tails. Well, how am I supposed to know? I'm not a playboy. Oh, we better get going. What's, uh, what's with going out the back way? What's wrong with the front door? Joey, that's only used by stars. Well, thank you. We hope you have a wonderful time tonight, Thanks, Joey. Mom. And give our love to Babs. Give my best to Tony. So long. So long. You're such a fancy. Just a moment. You heard what the family said. The front door's for stars. Out the back way, Joseph. Okay. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Barnes. Good evening. Greeting from your network. Oh, I thought they were going to send a color peacock. <laughs> your car is waiting outside, sir. Oh, my car can't be outside. I parked it in the garage. <laughs> sir, I've been assigned to show for you the Chateau Fontainebleau. I thought Norman Richards would take me to the Chateau Fontainebleau. He's going with Miss Wilson in her limousine. Oh. Are you ready, sir? What is your name? Homer, sir. Homer. After you, Homer. Thank you. Something wrong, sir? The, uh, the neighbors and their kids are out there. I beg your pardon? I've, I've never worn tails before. They're trying to create an image for me, and uh, I'm a little embarrassed to go out there with the neighbors waiting out there with the jokes and all. Well, that's all right, sir. They, they know that stars wear full dress suits. Uh, well, maybe you have a top coat. No. I only have a raincoat. Oh, that wouldn't do. Uh, sir, if you don't think I'm too presumptuous, I'd like to make a little suggestion. Speak right up, Homer. Well, sir, we chauffeurs for years have been playing a little game. Whenever a star wanted to be incognito, we uh, changed wardrobe. <laughs> Homer, Homer, you're going to be a vice president of this network. <laughs> against regulations, sir. Oh. But uh, I'll tell you what you can do. Yes. When I make a turn, you can put your hands out. <laughs> well, thanks to Homer's ingenuity, no one recognized me in his jacket. And by the same token, no one recognized him in my tails. <laughs> and uh, you talk about big cars. Well, this one was ridiculous. It had six doors on one side. <laughs> First time I ever saw a car that had a, uh, a spare tire in the glove compartment. <laughs> but uh, we arrived safely at the Chateau Fontainebleau, and I was almost embarrassed. Luckily, Homer was a quick thinker. He reminded me to change the jackets back again, so I wouldn't be embarrassed going into the Chateau Fontainebleau. <laughs> well, I went into the Chateau Fontainebleau, but 
before we get on with that, here's a short message from the sponsor. At least he said it would be short. 